Now, if you've seen the film Calendar Girls, you'll know that it was a group of women in Yorkshire that first spawned the novelty calendar trend. Well, since that all kicked off in 1998, the number of fun charity calendars has shot up, not only in Britain, but also here in Ireland too. So ahead of Christmas, we thought we'd take a look at what fun calendars are hitting the shelves, all in aid of good causes. So now, the course, Ryanair calendar might appear, <laughs> and might, might appeal to some people, but... Um, there's another one. There's another one. And that's the Irish Farmers Calendar for 2010. And this, uh, that, that's the cover. This is the brainchild of a girl called Kira Ryan, um, who's, um, I, I think, who was out of work. And she was, just, yeah. yeah, she was made redundant and she decided to, to do something. She borrowed, she borrowed some money and decided to do this. And um, again, proceeds are going to charity. 20% is going to charity. Yeah. And then to, to bow her and then... Obviously, the rest yeah, of herself. Yeah, which, which is a good... Uh, uh, Boher will benefit from the Irish Farmers 2010 calendar. And at least in this one, I suppose, mm. there are farmers doing farming-type work. Activities, yes. <laughs> Even if it is playing a ukulele with the cows. There's a nice one of a farmer with the pig. Did anyone... Do we have that one? The I farmer think, and I the pig? I think we did show that one. Oh, we did, okay. okay. Yeah, I quite like that one, calendar, and too. There's a variety of calendars. There you go, now. The run-up to, uh, to Christmas, if you want to go and purchase the end.